I call Pamjit Pama. Mr. Speaker, for the opportunity to take this call on the children, young persons and their families, advocacy, workforce and age settings amendment bill in its first reading. Mr. Speaker, I'm taking a short call to support this bill. Mr. Speaker, this is a huge step in the positive direction to improve the lives of children and young people that come into state care. Uh, Mr. Speaker, it's not acceptable to continue the way it is because the outcomes that we are getting for children and young people that uh, come into state care are terrible. We are bringing these children into state care from their families because their families are unable to look after them. But Mr. Speaker, there are some stats that made my heart sink. Um, first, Mr. Speaker, is that the average age of children that come in contact with child, youth, and family is seven to eight years. And by this age, some of these children have already gone through a number of placements. Mr. Speaker, I believe that uh, children of that age should be just thinking about studying or playing, not thinking about the next family they will be placed into. There is no certainty for them. There is no stability for them. There is no family to bond with. Second, Mr. Speaker, 64 percent of 61,000 notification uh, notifications to child, youth, and family are repeat notifications. So we are not able to get uh, the results that we want for these children, and that's why they keep coming back to child, youth, and family. Mr. Speaker, there was a study done on uh, children born in 12 months to 1991. And this study was done when they were 21 years old. And this study found that 90% of these people uh, were on a benefit. These, we are talking about children, those who uh, were put into placement care. And out of uh, this, 25% of them were on a benefit with a child. And the same study found that almost 80% of them didn't um, had NCEA level two qualification. 30% of them had youth justice referral by the age of 18, and 40% um, uh, had gone through community sentence. So Mr. Speaker, we are taking these children from their families into state care, and what we end up uh, uh, having for them is uh, putting them on benefit. Uh, getting low education outcome for them, uh, having referral to youth justice system or correction system. So, Mr. Speaker, I'm really happy to see that the minister is taking charge of this situation. So this is to reform uh, the current system so that we can have that long-term view and the kind of support that we need for uh, getting the desired outcome outcomes for children that come into state care. There is no quick fix, Mr. Speaker, um, but uh, we cannot continue the way we are doing it at the moment uh, because we can't get better results uh, by just continuing the way we are doing it. Mr. Speaker, I'm looking forward to working on this bill in the select committee process. I support this bill and commend this bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Brilliant speech.